In this video, you're going to learn everything you need to know to get started with the email marketing software MailChimp. I'm gonna show you how to set up your MailChimp account the right way, how to connect your website to MailChimp so you can start growing your email list and how to create and send out beautiful email campaigns using MailChimp. And you're also going to learn how to use email automations, which you can set up once and then they will run fully automated. So grab yourself a cup of coffee and then let's get started. Awesome, so we're gonna start here on MailChimp.com where we can go ahead and sign up for a new MailChimp account. So go to the top right and click on sign up free. Then here simply type in your email address, decide on a username and on a password and then click on sign up. Now we need to go and confirm the email address that we have just used to sign up for MailChimp. So we're gonna go to our inbox and then look for this email right here and click on activate account. Then click on I'm not a robot. And then we get to the account setup where the first thing is to choose a plan with MailChimp. Now I usually recommend to simply go for the free plan to start out and whenever you need to have more contacts or you need features that are only available with the pay plan, you can always upgrade to one of these plans right here. So I'm gonna choose the free plan and then I'm gonna click on next. Here, simply type in your name, business name and then click on continue. And then they ask you for a physical address because Every email that you send out using MailChimp needs to have a physical address at the bottom of every email because of international anti-spam laws. So I would recommend to simply use a business address or to use a PO box that you put in here. Then simply go through these steps as well here. You can also skip some of it, it doesn't really matter. Here I wouldn't tick anything because otherwise you will get promotional emails from MailChimp. Then click on continue and that will take us inside of our new MailChimp dashboard. So the first thing that we wanna do is set up the email address that we want to use to send emails with. So we're gonna to go to website here on the left side and then click on domains. And then we're gonna scroll down to email domains and click on add and verify. Here, I'm gonna choose the email address that I wanna to use to send out emails from. So in my case, this would be simon at medixmedia.com. Then I'm gonna click on send verification email. And then we have to go into the email inbox of the mail we have just typed in and we're gonna get a verification code that we have to copy and paste into this field right here. Then click on verify. And now the domain is successfully verified. Now we wanna to go to our audience settings. So we're gonna to go to audience, preference center, settings and audience name and defaults. Here we wanna scroll down and go to campaign defaults. And here we can decide on our from name that people will see when they receive emails from us. So I'm gonna simply put in Simon Maddox Media so they know exactly what my name is and what company I'm from. And then also here we can change the from email address which I want to show up as Simon as Maddoxmedia.com. So that's fine, then we can scroll down and click on save audience and campaign defaults. So now let's look at how we can connect your website with MailChimp. So what we wanna do is we wanna create a registration form that we can put on your website so people can sign up to your email list. So we're gonna go to create on the top left and then we're gonna to go to sign up form and what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna create a pop-up form that will appear after a couple of seconds on your website so people can sign up to your newsletter. So we're gonna click on pop-up form and then we're gonna choose the audience and click on begin. And now we are in the editor where we can design our pop-up form. So first we're gonna choose a layout here on the right side. I'm gonna simply stick with the one that is here by default and then we can start to populate this signup form by maybe selecting an image. We can upload it here. And then we can also change the text right here and decide on what we wanna ask for. So we can also ask for the first name, for example, and the email obviously is mandatory. And then the subscribe button, we can change maybe the color to a green and the hover color to a lighter green and also center this here in the middle and um, we don't need a disclaimer note right here. Then you can also change the success message. So once people have actually signed up, so thanks for subscribing is fine for now. And then we also wanna go to style and here we can change all the, the fonts and stuff. 
And then we wanna go to settings and here we can change the opacity of the background of your website, which will be grayed out once the pop-up will appear. Um, then when should the pop-up show up? So I usually do it after like 20 seconds or when people scroll um, past a certain part of the website. For the sake of this video, I'm going to simply do after five seconds to kind of demonstrate how this works. And then you can either make this a slide form that will slide out from the bottom right, or we can make it modal, which will just appear in the middle of your website. So I'm going to choose this for now. And then um, this is basically finished. So now we need to go ahead and connect the website. So we're going to go to connect website right here. And then we need to type in the URL of your website. I'm going to simply use a website that I'm working on right now and then click on get started. And what we need to do now is we need to copy and paste this HTML code in the header of our website. So if you have a Wix website or a website with Squarespace, for example, simply go to the part where you can edit your header or contact support if you don't know where that is and then paste that code in the header of your website. I'm gonna show you how to do it with WordPress. So I'm gonna to go to my WordPress dashboard and I'm gonna use a plugin to paste this code in my header. So I'm gonna to go to plugins right here, add new. Then I'm gonna look for something called insert headers and footers. And it's this first one that comes up right here. I'm gonna click on install now, then activate. And now we can go to settings here on the right side, go to insert headers and footers. And here where it says scripts in header, here we want to paste this HTML code. So we're gonna click on copy to clipboard, then paste this right here, scroll down, click on save. And then we go back to MailChimp and we're gonna click on check connection right here. And there we go, our site is now connected. Now we can actually turn it on right here click on close and then we also need to click on save and publish to make this available on our website. So now we can test it out by going to our website and see if this actually shows up after five seconds. And there we go, here is our pop-up form where we can now type in an example address. So let's say simon at maddoxmedia.com click on subscribe, thanks for subscribing, our success message. And now we can go back to MailChimp, close out of this here. And here we can go to audience, all contacts. And now we can see we have a new contact, which is the one we have just signed up with on our website. And now if you wanna send out a welcome email to your email subscribers and give them the lead magnet, the gift that you have promised them for signing up to your email newsletter, there is basically two possibilities. The first one is to use an automation right here. However, you're gonna to have to use a pay, you're gonna to have to go for a paid plan in order to have access to this feature. Now, one workaround that you can do is you can go to audience preference center and then you can go to settings, audience name and defaults. And here you wanna scroll down and check this box where it says send final welcome email. So what this will do, every time when somebody signs up to your email list, it will send them a specific email. And you can actually change this email to, um, to say something that you want. So we can go down, click on save audience and campaign defaults. And now to change this specific welcome email, we can go to, um, to sign up forms right here. And then we go to form builder. And here we change from sign up form to final welcome email. And then this is where you can actually adjust that welcome email. This is how it looks like right now. And if you want to, you can also change this text right here. So here you can type in whatever you want to, welcoming them to your email. Um, list and also giving them a link to whatever you want to send. So you can basically make text a link and then send it to a Google Drive or to a Dropbox folder or whatever you want to. This is kind of a workaround. You used to be able to use a, a normal welcome message with MailChimp even on the free plan. However, right now it doesn't work anymore. So this would be a workaround that you can use. Otherwise, you can also use uh, automations that we will go into in a moment. So before we go into automations, I wanna quickly show you how to send out a simple email campaign, a newsletter to your audience. 
So we can go to create right here and then we go to email and we're gonna click on regular right here. Then we're gonna give our campaign a name. So let's say five um, tips for email marketing, click on begin. And then here you can decide on who will receive that specific email at recipients right here. Then you can change the from information. If you have it set up by default, as we've just done, you don't need to do anything here. So we can click on save. Then the subject line is very important that you actually type in something that makes people wanna click on that specific email. So once you have typed your subject line and also your preview text, uh, which is what people will see before they click on the email, you can click on save. And then we're gonna go ahead and start designing our email. Now you have two possibilities, the classic builder and the new builder. I really like the new builder, so this is what we're gonna use in this video. So I'm gonna click on select here. And now we are inside of the email builder. This is really intuitive and really easy to learn. So here you can simply go to templates, choose a template that you wanna use to create your email. And then you simply wanna hover over these parts in your email right here, and you can delete them if you want to. You can also um, drag them around. You can also just type something else here um, to write out your email. You can duplicate different sections and um, you can simply create your email like that. You can also use buttons and send them to some website or download anything. So whatever you basically want to. So it's really easy, not a lot, lot to explain here. Simply click on the element, then on the left side, you'll, you'll have all the options to change all the, the colors and stuff like that. So uh, just take some time, create your perfect email that looks great, and then we can move on. So when your email is finished, we click on continue right here. And then again, you see an overview of your entire campaign. And then what we can do is to either schedule the email if we have a plan that allows us to schedule emails or we can send it right now. So if you wanna send it right now, we can click on send and then click on send now. And now the email campaign has gone out to all of our email subscribers. And now we can go to campaign reports and we can see exactly how many people has, have opened this specific email, how many people have clicked on links, how many people have unsubscribed after receiving this email, and uh, a lot more data from your specific email campaign. So now let's also look at email automations, which is one of the most powerful things you can do with email marketing. So let's go to automations right here, and uh, MailChimp calls this customer journeys. And again, this is a paid feature, so you're gonna need to upgrade to a paid plan to use the customer journeys feature. So let's go to start from scratch right here and give our journey a name. Let's name it initial uh, onboarding uh, sequence because this is the initial sequence that I'm sending to everybody who's just joining my email list. Then click on start building. Great, so now we need to choose a starting point. So what will trigger this automation? I'm gonna simply choose signs up to um, the specific email list. And now we are inside of the automation builder where we can visually build our email sequences. So this is where people are actually signing up to my email list. Now what I like to do is to first give them a tag. So I'm gonna drag in the tag right here and I'm gonna tag them um, let's say people who join my list are coming from my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna name it YouTube channel. So I know where those people are coming from. Uh, I can also add tags based on interest. So if I know if people come from uh, on this list, then they are interested in maybe marketing tips. I can change the tag to marketing tips. So let's click on save right here. And then the first thing I wanna do is send an email. So I'm gonna drag send email in right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a very nice welcome email, welcome them, welcoming them to my email newsletter, giving them the lead magnet that I have um, used to get them on my email list and also let, letting them know what they can expect from my emails. So once that's done, I'm gonna drag in a time delay. So I'm gonna drag this in right here. Then we can change the time delay to let's say three days. And then after three days, I can send them another email like this and then maybe another time delay of maybe now two days. So as you can see, it's really easy to build out your email journey. You can prepare hundreds of emails right here and then basically market to them on autopilot once they have joined your email list. You can also use if else conditions right here. So let's say um, we add a condition that um, everybody who hasn't um, who hasn't opened any of my last five campaigns, I wanna unsubscribe them from my list. So I'm gonna choose 
um, hasn't opened any of my last campaigns? If the answer is yes, I'm going to go to unsubscribe, cho choose this here, and then I'm going to make them unsubscribe from my email list because I don't want to have any people on my email list that aren't interested in my content. Then here I can just send them an other email and so on. So this is how you can build out very simple email automations that will save you a lot of time and will basically automate your marketing for you once you have set it up. And that's it for this video. If it was helpful, give it a thumbs up and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.